All right, how we doing people? This is gonna be a tutorial on running American Truck Simulator using Soft TH and triple screen. Now, my setup is a weird one right now. I've got a center monitor that's uh, 2560 by 1440p, and then it's flanked by a 1920 by 1080 30 inch monitor and a 1920 by 1080 23 inch monitor. Both of the sides are 60 hertz and the center screen is 144 hertz. So unfortunately, that negates uh, NVIDIA surround being able to set up. So I can't do triple screens like that. So what I'm gonna have to do is use a utility called Soft TH. Now I will warn you, uh, you are gonna have to revert to an older version of American Truck Simulator 1.35. And that was the one with DX9 which is what Soft TH uses. Unfortunately, you aren't gonna be able to use any of the newer versions like 1.39, so you won't have the Utah DLC or any of the newer stuff. So if you still wanna play around with that, um, you can follow along with this. All right, we're gonna close out of this and you're gonna bring up your browser here. Just go to Google and do a search for Soft TH. I'll put the link in the description to take you here, but it's just as easy to Google. So Soft TH Software Multi-Head Gaming. We're gonna to go to that. And we're gonna come down here and we're gonna grab the DX9208 Alpha 64 bit. So this one here. All right, so go ahead and you can open that with um, Windows Explorer, that's fine. Okay, once it's downloaded and opened in Windows Explorer, we're gonna go ahead and right click this DLL file. We're going to copy it. And we now need to place that into the American Truck Simulator directory. So if you don't know where that is, what you can do is open up Steam and you can find ATS in your list. And we're gonna go to properties. Actually, we're gonna go manage, browse local files. All right, that's gonna take you to this directory. And this should be in wherever you have Steams. Mine's in my C drive and games. So you're just going to open up bin for binaries, and then you're going to go to the Win X64, and then you'll see Amtrux Xe, and we're going to paste it into this folder. All right, so that way when we start the um, American Truck game, it's going to load this DLL file, and that's going to take over the settings. So what we need to do next is you're going to actually, we need to set it to load an older version of ATS. So we're going to come here, right click, we're going to go properties, and then we're going to come over to beta and select the beta you'd like to opt into. We're going to come down and do the 1.35 version for DX9. All right. Click X on that. Now it's going to start updating and it's going to need to do about a three gig update. So I'll pause the recording real quick while that finishes. Okay, just finished the update. So next step is we're going to go into our documents folder, and then you'll open the American Truck Simulator folder. By default, it's placed in documents. We're going to find the config file, and you may have to right-click this and open with Notepad, or Notepad Plus is fine. But anyway, open this up, and what we're looking for is the multi-mon mode section. You can also do a control F if you don't see it. We're gonna set that to four if it's not already that way in your system. So multi-mon mode four. Save that, close out of it. Also, if you have a multi-mon multi -mon config file, go ahead and delete that. We're gonna let it generate us a new one once it uh, starts here. Okay, so let's go back to Steam and let's click play. This time you're going to get an option to launch with DirectX 9. So click that and hit play again. And then we're going to get a message that says this was the first time the uh, soft TH was found. So do you want to create a default configuration? Yes, we do. All right, and it created that. And this is our uh, current version here, 6400 by 1440. So what that does is it takes all my displays and adds them together automatically for me. So I don't have to worry about that. We can go ahead and go into the game here. Okay, switching back to my phone here so we can do this next part and see all the monitors. 
Now, when you first start it up, it's gonna be real small in the center of your screen. That's okay. That's how it's gonna do until we select the next resolution. Also, you'll notice it's gonna give you a message about running an older version and having incompatible DLC. So Utah or whatever else you have won't work on this older one. So go ahead and click continue. Now, if you've got any other profiles with the newer version, they won't work as well. So either create your new one or use one of your older profiles specifically for 135. All right, so I'm gonna start this one and you'll notice it's still real small on the screen. Nothing's on the side or left or right yet. But if you look in here, you can see where the three different monitors are kind of all on the main screen because you see this little line of where it's, um, just that's gonna be the border of your monitors, okay? So we've got to go in now and set the custom resolution. It's real small here until you get it fixed, but we're going to go to options. We're going to go to graphics. Now here is where we're going to do the custom resolution that SoftTH automatically configured for us. Okay, so set that and apply. Still, it may take a couple of tries to get it going here sometimes it's a little buggy and then what it can happen is it can throw your screen it can throw your main screen to the uh, wrong monitor that's okay just hit yes for now okay so anything that's not right go ahead and just pop your graphics down to high well we're gonna do the graphics again we're gonna say ultra you may have to play around with it a little bit until you get it how you want it. So then we're gonna say, okay. Now we're looking at black screens on the side and a console in the middle. So we can close out of this and we can go back and drive. One thing you'll notice, the mouse is um, a little bit harder to move. That's okay, it's just got more pixels to cover. Okay, so now that we're in driving mode, now you'll see we've got everything on all three monitors, okay? So that is how you configure American Truck Simulator with soft TH if you've got monitors with different resolutions, different hertz, different size, whatever. So if you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments and I'll see if I can help you out. This is kind of a tricky process, as you saw when I was applying the graphic settings. Sometimes you just kind of have to Close out of the game, go back in, uh, configure the graphics, uh, go to ultra, go to high, just play around with it till you get it set like it's supposed to be. And uh, hopefully they'll come out with a better way to do trip screens. But this will work as an interim uh, workaround. Thanks for watching. Happy gaming.